today, I am uh, able to announce that um, by the end of this month, uh, a COVID-19 vaccine will have been offered to every resident and staff member at all of Florida's nearly 4,000 long-term care facilities, uh, which is really, really good. On behalf of the thousands of long-term caregivers that the Florida Healthcare Association represents, I want to thank you for your leadership. You've made long-term care residents and staff a priority throughout this entire pandemic. And most recently, you put us first in line for vaccines. That shows that you truly support our seniors and our healthcare heroes that are taking care of our seniors. Vaccine distribution represents hope and joy for our residents, their families, and our caregivers, and brings the long-term care community one step closer to defeating this dreaded virus. Since mid-December, Florida's nursing centers have been engaged in a monumental, unprecedented effort to vaccine thousands of our state's vulnerable seniors and their caregivers who reside in our facilities. Vaccination clinics have been coordinated by local health departments and Florida's National Guard in Broward and Pinellas counties, and through the CVS and Walgreens partnerships in facilities outside of those counties. In addition, Six South Florida facilities had their clinical teams directly administer vaccines to the residents and staff to pilot a program to show that facilities will soon be able to do this on their own in the future. First doses have been completed, second doses are on the way, and our state's 700 nursing uh, centers and more than 300, I'm sorry, 3,100 assisted living facilities are also scheduled to get their second, first and second doses. I want to thank the governor and emergency management director, Jared Moskowitz, and their team for amplifying those efforts with the CDR health contract, which has helped expedite that process for our ALF residents and staff. All of us are focused on encouraging as many people as possible to take the vaccine. We also know the need to continue to be vigilant until the widespread vaccinations are distributed. Wearing masks and other protective gear, that's not going away anytime soon. But we've worked hard to protect our residents over these last 11 months. Have you worked hard these last 11 months? <laughs> Great job. You've worked so hard these last 11 months and over 97% of our residents and over 98% of our staff are now COVID free. Can you imagine? Way to go. Great job, guys. Safety is your top priority. And this vaccine, it represents a light at the end of the tunnel. And as, as I heard earlier, that light's not a train, that light is hope. The vaccine is our hope. And like all of us, our residents hope that we return to normal as soon as possible. So they can gather for birthday celebrations. They can hug their loved ones. They can see their grandchildren. They can go to their houses of worship, their church, their synagogues. Uh, that day is coming when they'll be able to hug their loved ones. And it's because of this vaccine. And it's because we've got a governor that has led the way to make sure that these most vulnerable people are a priority. If you're a healthcare worker and you're still unsure about taking the vaccine, talk to one of your team members that's taken the vaccine. Ask them how they reacted. Ask them how they feel. And let's help be an example to others and put an end to this pandemic. Thank you again, Governor DeSantis, for everything that you continue to do for our healthcare heroes and the seniors that we represent. Thank you. I also just want to echo the thanks uh, for the folks who are, who are working in these facilities. I mean, we have uh, a lot of different facilities, everything from skilled nursing to more independent living. But um, we oftentimes will thank the doctors and nurses in the hospitals, and rightfully so. Uh, but sometimes people don't appreciate uh, all the stress that they've been under at places like this, just knowing that this virus is out there, understanding that if you have an outbreak in one of these facilities, that that could cause really significant impacts. And, um, and I think they've that they've done a really, really good job. If you look at our demographics in Florida, we have the second oldest population in the United States, and yet uh, our per capita mortality is less than the national average from COVID and 25 other states have higher per capita mortality. And I think part of the reason for that is because of facilities like this who have people working to protect their residents um, and, and really dotting every I and crossing every T. So thank you guys for the work that you've done, not just here, but throughout the state.